What's up guys? Welcome back to another Team of the Week video. So, um, before we get into the Team of the Week video, I just do want to say quickly, I know videos on the channel have been a little hit and miss um, lately, but that was just because of the holiday period. We will be back at it um, under the schedule I made the other day starting next week. So, But you will get a video today, tomorrow, and Friday. Um, I'm going to have Team of the Week today. We're going to have a Footbin import video. They brought it back. Big news, big news. Um, tomorrow, and then we will have a regular market movement on Friday. So, let's get into this Team of the Week. Uh, Striker Arnautovic actually looks awesome. 86 physical, 87 dribbling, uh, along with 85 passing, 83 shooting, uh, and 82 pace. What's His first in form was a left midfielder. Yeah, that's why. Um that his stats are so high. Look at that, 85 striker on nothing. Basic, he's an 88 striker. For 100K, an 88 rated Premier League striker with, with that kind of physical stat, you put, um, I don't know, what would you put on him? Finisher? Sniper? 91? Yeah, sniper. Um, let's look at his hourly graph. He has gone up over time. He's one of those guys that's been going up. He started low. Um, I'd say where he started there, about that 70K range, would be an awesome price for him. He might go down there eventually. He might not, but definitely a guy to keep an eye out for. Um, Sanchez is obviously a star of this team of the week. It is his second in form. I actually have his regular card, and I actually don't love it. Um... And that is very expensive for an inform. Obviously, his stats are very good, but I I just think I don't know. I find him too small. Um, even though his physicals are good, I just find him to be a very small player and uh, and and difficult to use for that reason. It's difficult to explain, but for me, that's way too expensive. Um, let's look at you know what I think this Lingard card might be a good deal. Uh, he also has a uh, a foot miss card. But 48k for a, a Premier League cam that on basic is 88 rated, that seems like a very good deal to me. Did he start high? No, he's going up too. It looks like more and more Team of the Week uh, cards are following this trend where they come out low and then they go higher. Um, so if you buy exactly as they come out, if you snipe for a reasonable price as soon as they come out and then sell a few hours later, that might be a new way to make coins. I'm going to look into this, because look, you snipe a, a Lingard at 35k, you sell him a two hour, uh, what's that, four hours later for 50k, you just made the easiest 14k ever. So let's, uh, let's look at that trend with someone else. Maybe that's actually a way to go about this. Um, somebody decently popular, how about Ake? I bet you Ake probably did something similar, maybe. Yeah, again. Guys, I think we might have just found something here. Look, 10K, right? 10K in a couple of hours. Like, we might have just found a new way to trade with Team of the Week. Um, it may not happen with everyone, but if it happens often enough... Now, Ederson went down and then back up. So you buy at the right time early on with him, you, you'll luck out as well. Izquierdo was somebody... Excuse me, somebody that was using a lot of starter squads. Wow, he's really cheap for actually a very good player. Um, could be a very useful super sub, but let's check that trend. Again, started at 15, you're making 20, you're making 10k right there, easy. Guys, next team of the week, buy a few cards as soon as they come out, wait a couple hours, sell them on. You, I, I'm willing to bet you'll make some money. Let's take a look at Dybala here. is obviously way too expensive. Um, he may not have followed the same trend yet. Well, he went, wow, weird. Started high, went low, went back up. Um, obviously, the cheaper these guys are, the better this strategy will work. What's he going for? 168. Now, I'm curious. He's like a mid-range. But again, you buy him for 150. You sell for 174. There's money to be made here, guys. I, I, wow, that's exciting. I, that, we, we found a new trading method. We may actually be able to, uh, to make some money with that, boys. Very exciting. That's pretty cool. It even happened with Pogba. You you sell him for or buy him for nine thirty. You sell him on a few hours later for a million thirty. You just made a hundred thousand coins. Easy as that. Snapping your fingers, man. That is crazy. This Den Donker actually looks like a good center back in like a pure Belgium team. Seventy three. Look look at that. No no stat below seventy three. That's actually pretty pretty impressive. And look, he's in that magic price range. Buy this guy. Buy this guy if he goes anything under eleven. I wouldn't buy him for twelve, but anything under eleven, buy him. He'll go up over time. I promise you guys that. Um, similarly with... 
let's see. Snodgrass, championship in form, on the wing for 10 250 Buy this guy. He will go up over time. I promise he'll go up over time. 10 250 That's literally min price right there. Literally min price. Buy this guy. You'll buy him in bulk and hold on to him for a week or two. You're going to be able to sell him for consistently 13 14 15k. I promise. This is easy, easy coins, guys. So um, those are my investments there. Uh, you know, buy those those cheapo guys. Uh, you'll sell them on for more than uh, more than you paid. I can almost guarantee it. I don't love anybody else individually, but as I said with this Ake, this Lindegaard, this Arnautovic, you can buy these guys early. Obviously, it won't work for this team of the week, but pay attention when, next team of the week when it comes out. Sell them on four or five hours later. You're, you're, there's money to be made there, guys. There's money to be made there, I promise. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are looking forward to the Footbin Club import video tomorrow. And, uh, and I'll talk to you guys in that one. But thank you for watching this one, and I'll talk to you in the next video.